we're given f of x equals sine x times cosine x times tangent x, and we're asked to determine the derivative function f prime of x. Because f of x is a product, we might be thinking we should apply the product rule of differentiation, and we could, but whenever we have a product of trig functions, we should first see if we can simplify. Recall that tangent x is equal to sine x divided by cosine x, and therefore f of x will simplify. Let's write f of x as f of x equals sine x times cosine x times, again, tangent x is equal to sine x divided by cosine x. Notice now we can simplify. If we want to, we can write the cosine x as a fraction with the denominator of one. And notice cosine x divided by cosine x simplifies to one. And therefore we can write the given function as f of x equals sine x times sine x, which we can write as sine squared x. But to find the derivative, it'll be helpful to think of this as the square of sine x. Notice f of x is a composite function, and therefore to find the derivative, we will have to apply the chain rule. Notice the inner function is sine x, and the outer function is a squaring function. So when applying the chain rule, we'll let the inner function be u. As soon as we identify u, we know we also need to find u prime. u prime is a derivative of sine x. u prime is equal to cosine x. So now we can think of our function f as just u squared and apply the power rule of differentiation with the chain rule, which is a derivative of u to the power of n with respect to x equals n times u to the power of n minus one times u prime. This indicates in our case, f prime of x, again, is equal to the derivative of u squared with respect to x, which is two times u to the power of two minus one times u prime. Let's write this back in terms of x. We have two times u to the first, and u is equal to sine x, so we have two sine x, and then times u prime, where u prime is cosine x. This indicates f prime of x is equal to two sine x cosine x, which is acceptable for the derivative function, but we can also use the double angle identity for sine. Recall two times cosine x times sine x is equal to sine two x, and therefore we can also write f prime of x as sine two x. Either of these two forms for the derivative function are correct. I hope you found this helpful.